Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Veronica Wang and today you're on my second channel. Typically I do ASMR and mukbangs on my main channel, but this channel is more lifestyle and directed to me just being me and us getting to know each other. Ugh, I have so much, okay. I have a lot of anxiety and like I feel so much anxiety today, okay. You are worth it, Veronica. You will be successful. You will continue doing everything that you need to do to become a better culinary student. Okay, whew, bright. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this challenge really, 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 really scared me because I found it to be a test on my culinary skills. And much like an art student, when you first start drawing, you need to learn the basics before you can really start getting creative and see drawings that are producing the results that you've ever imagined. And that's the same with culinary arts, right? Culinary arts. I'm still learning my art. and I've loved it my entire life, but I've always been a home cook. I've never been a true culinary expert, and so I am just starting to really hone down on those skills, and I feel like I did an okay job. I didn't think I did a great job. I think that I still have a lot to learn, but it was a fun uh, challenge nonetheless. But anyways, day one was really interesting. Same with day two. I feel like for those first two days, I didn't, I, I wasn't being too creative. I think I was just like more so playing it safe. Okay guys, today is the first day that we are going to be making ramen for breakfast. I have some shin ramen here. I actually like a lot of soup. And I'm going to pop it in the microwave. I have some hot water right here. Head mills, of vinegar, I'm just gonna crack an egg right into it. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually add some kale into it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stuff that at the bottom. And I like a lot of seaweed actually. So I'm gonna add our poached egg. And a little bit of pepper. Breakfast ramen is done. Yeah, now it's time to eat. Okay, so for today's breakfast, I figured I would just use whatever I had left in the fridge. I have an egg, I have onion, mushrooms, nothing crazy. These are definitely an afterthought, but it's just, you know, we need some health in there. So, I'm like so. On top of this. this one here. I hope I come up with some better ideas. I feel like these are pretty simple ideas that I have going on right now. I don't feel like they're anything crazy. Here we go. Here she is. Mushrooms. Oh, sorry. It's like that. Let's, first, I think we should get break this yolk. Ooh, look at that. I feel like I need to make it more breakfasty in the future. I feel like this kind of breakfasty, but not really. Okay, I'm so nervous to be talking about this. Oh my God, Veronica, okay. Okay, calm down, it's okay, you're still learning. Everything's gonna be fine, you're gonna get better. You know, just show some confidence, would you girl? I have no confidence right now. <laughs> For day one and two, I feel like the plating was very safe. For day three and four, I got a little bit more riskier. Day three, I really wasn't happy with my plating. I really wasn't happy with my hollandaise sauce. And then day four, I was really happy with the flavors that came off on day four, but I was, you know, the vision, the vision, you know, the vision just wasn't executed, so. Eh. Hey guys, it is day three of making ramen for breakfast. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon. First meal of the day is technically breakfast. We're not gonna pay attention to what time it is. Anywho, I've been thinking to myself, I'm like, you know what, We, I I haven't been making it breakfast enough. Throwing up an egg on top does not make it breakfast. Or the first meal of the day makes it breakfast, technically. So whatever you eat. Anyways, my point is, I wanted to make it more breakfast -y. Today we're gonna be doing a hollandaise sauce. We're gonna be using this noodle today. 
I have all my ingredients right here. I already poached my eggs. I have three eggs that we're gonna split for egg yolks um, for the hollandaise. I have some arugula and then our hollandaise ingredients. Typically a hollandaise sauce um, would have like sh shallots, shallots, um, vinegar, some peppercorns, and you would make a reduction out of it and add that into the hollandaise. But I'm not gonna do that today. I prepped everything first. We're gonna get the noodles going. I'm gonna make the hollandaise now last and hopefully I don't split it. I, th I also in class you have to use a clarified butter. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna use like regular cold butter. Let's get into it guys. Here are my noodles. It doesn't look like chemo bacon. It's turkey bacon. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay. I think I'm just gonna go back and forth between doing this and just taking it off. Just because I don't want it to get too hot. Okay. okay. I think the consistency is good. See how it's gotten thicker? I think it needs to be a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add some honey into it. I actually don't know if anyone adds. This up a little bit. Okay. Need some more apple salt vinegar. Let's see. I'm putting this in. Ooh, I feel like it needs something at the bottom to push it up almost. You know what I mean? How's that looking? I feel like it needs more arugula, no? On there, on there. Now for our hollandaise. And there is our hollandaise noodle. It probably could have looked a lot prettier. Mmm. <sighs> yeah, that's breakfast. Nom, 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 nom. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would be lying to you if I told you that I was happy with my eggs and bed I did yesterday that I made. I mean, I feel good about it. I feel like my holidays could have been better. I feel like my presentation was could have been better. We're on our fourth day of this challenge with three more days ago, so hopefully it has some redemption later on. I was thinking about that one time I went to the sushi restaurant and had ginger milk. I came up with this idea of this like cold noodle, ginger milk inspired ramen breakfast that we're having today. So here I have my ingredients in front of me. For my ginger milk, some honey over here, and some ginger. We're just gonna put the ginger in. And then here is our milk. And we're gonna add some of that honey in there. You could add white sugar, but um, we're using honey today. Mm. We're gonna be using our hot and spicy. So what I'm gonna do with this, and I feel like it's not a challenge unless I use everything that I'm given in the noodle packet. Crack it up. So just a light boil, it's foaming. That's all we need. I'm actually gonna put this outside onto my balcony. Cool down, it's so cold outside. Okay. Okay, we're gonna set this aside. This monstrosity. Ooh, that is like super thick. I'm trying to create like something that will bond together. Okay, obviously I still need some knowledge in certain aspects of culinary. I think that's okay. It tastes good. That's for sure. Now we just need to see if this is gonna get hard. Phrasing, boom. <laughs> Phrasing, boom. <clears throat> Inappropriate. It's almost like cereal. <laughs> I'm gonna taste the milk. Yum. Oh my God, yum. Wait, we're just gonna go for it. Breakfast noodles. That's good. Honestly, that's really good. I think I would make this ginger milk again because that's really tasty, but it is starting to peel off now. Still hasn't set properly. I want it to be really stringy. I want it to be able to like fit it in so it just comes out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Phrasing. The issue with this is one, there's sugar to spice ratio. This spice is overpowering the sugar where it tastes good, especially with the chocolate that I added, but it's not great. But had it there been a better balance, that would've been really freaking good. This is great, honestly. Okay, I have to say though, day five was by far my favorite plating. I feel like it could have been a little bit better. I feel like I just need to control my anxiety, become one with myself, namaste myself back to reality, and calm the F down because I truly freak out. I feel like after I was done plating on the fifth day, I was feeling really good and then I, I don't know, I felt like time sensitive and I just rushed the end of it. And I, I feel like I've done that throughout the entire week and that's something I really need to work on even in school. I feel like my grades suffer 
suffers just a little bit because towards that ending portion when it really matters I always vomit because I get really high anxiety and I forget to control Welcome it. Welcome so. to day five of eating ramen for breakfast. I'm gonna be honest with you guys I am very disappointed in myself. I'm also realizing how hard I am on myself I've already known that my hollandaise sauce and I'm still on this my hollandaise sauce my candying and my plating are trash Those are three things that I need to work on anyways today. We're just gonna do a classic breakfast today sausage egg Maybe some French toast with some ramen anyways. Let's just make food because it <laughs> I have the previous failed hollandaise sauce here, but we can still use it. I have some cold butter, my eggs. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's a nicer looking hollandaise. We're putting some makeup with full syrup on this bad boy. Okay, I'm gonna go in and try to break the yolk, see if that's, oh yeah, beautiful yolk break. Exactly what we're looking for, especially with the noodle. Oh yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm really happy right now. This tastes delicious. The hollandaise turned out way better. <sighs> Hello, my friends. Welcome back to day six <laughs> of eating ramen for breakfast. First of all, we're gonna be using another chicken bowl, but I have pre-prepped over here some guac. I'm just gonna add some cracked pepper, some salt, and then we're just gonna smash away. I already added the lemon into it. You can add lime. I only had lemon on hand, so I just used that. It's acidic, it's good. It is a different flavor, but it does a job, so. I have some cilantro here, an egg, tomatoes, lettuce, black beans, and some sausage. You see? I also have some extra rice, so I figured we could go ahead and add some rice into our bowl just a little bit. I'm gonna be using these two sauces today. I thought it would be good. And I'm feeling a lot more confident about my plating. The taste is the number one thing, of course, always before plating. But for me personally, I find plating such an art. When beautifully done, it's just, you know, it just adds to the experience, the culinary experience, the eating experience. It's like one of my favorite parts of eating. I mean, if it's one of my favorite parts of eating, why not get good at it, right? I'm also in culinary school, so like, duh. But <laughs> same thing that I've been kind of doing. I'm just gonna do a dry noodle again, but I did want to mix some of the beans with some of the chicken seasoning just because I haven't seasoned the beans except with a little pork fat So I figured we get extra use out of this pack and season these beans a little bit This is like spicy and smoky. I'm just mixing that into the beans too. I had like a breakdown this past weekend A lot of people on Instagram saw it for some reason I feel like this guac needs more pepper and every time I have a breakdown I always want to cut my hair so I actually cut my hair a lot shorter and I just want to stop wearing makeup or not as much anymore I feel like anyone who's insecure like me you have to be really really careful with just like branding marketing beauty standards shit like that because it's very easily to get lost in it I'm unfortunately someone who falls victim to the beauty standards and you don't have to be a victim you just need to be aware and I feel like for a very long time I just wasn't really aware. It's okay to also to wear makeup and to do all those things. You just need to be aware of like the negatives. And I think I'm just like so sick of, I wanna add some pepper to this. I think I'm just so sick of what, what the beauty standards are and I just wanna be myself. I feel like I, you know, I kind of get caught up sometimes. But yeah, anyways, rice done. I don't wanna put this sausage. Put it in the corner here, actually. Put some tomato in there. Fresh cilantro. Okay, and there we have it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of that sauce just all around. Wow, okay. I'm excited to eat this. I think this is beautiful. Here it is. Mmm, this is a lot going on. As a bull should though, right? I want some more of that garlic serrano. Let's grab some of that rice that's in there. Wow. Okay guys, day six complete. Wow, one more day to go. Hey guys, this is day seven. So right now what I have going on behind me is I'm frying my egg. So let's talk about what I've already done. So far what I've already done is I've peeled the potato. For the hash brown you can either peel the potato or you can leave it whole. I like to leave it whole just because of most of the vitamins are in the skin of the potato. Also I like the color that it adds. So you can either take it all off or leave it on. I left it on. 
Then I just shaved it down. I put it into some water. You can put some vinegar into the water just to maintain the color, add some acidity. Then I drained it into um, a cheesecloth. You don't have to use a cheesecloth. You could just use your hands, squeeze it out, and then let it dry in a towel. And I have it over here now. I'll fold it up. My little guy over here. So what I did just now is I added some of the kimchi juice into the pan just to deglaze it. And I just have the kimchi here. Put it I'm gonna season with some pepper. And because we already have kimchi pretty much in everything, I'm gonna put some of the kimchi flavoring in here. And the rest of it I'm actually gonna toss onto the potatoes. I'm gonna pop in my noodles. I'm gonna put that to the side, this egg. I have some pickles over here that I created. Here's some radish. Here is our kimchi breakfast bowl. <laughs> Crack that egg. We have a nice egg yolk, runny. All right, let's eat this. Mmm. Oh my god, bomb. But like, what this is, you're getting the noodles, which is great. I mean, you can never go wrong with noodles, right? But you're also getting that crispy texture from the potatoes right, with every bite. <gasps> And this is great too because everybody is different. Wow. Okay, guys, this is fun. I gotta do this again. <laughs> yeah, and then day seven. Day seven kind of fell apart for me. Flavor was really there. I really enjoyed the flavors, but I feel like appearance wise and skill wise, I was really rushing it and not paying attention and just kind of like going with the flow, but not in, in not in like the right way, you know? I don't know how to explain. Like going on a flow, but kind of rushing it. Instead of taking my time and really like analyzing what I was doing, it was kind of like, what? Yeah, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this challenge. Thank you guys for being here. Let me know if there's any challenges below you'd like to see me do. And of course, and until next time guys, I love you so much. Bye.